So after hours of grinding halos to get, I believe, at least over 10 million so I can unlock a weapon for Bayonetta, the lightsaber from Okami, I believe it is, and unlock the two secret characters you can unlock if you get a certain amount of halos. By the way, so, uh, I found out that, uh, remember how I said the rocket launcher sucks? It's actually one of the best weapons to use to grind halos. Anyway, uh... We're going to have two bonus videos with the two extra playable characters. We're going to do the first two chapters with them. That's right. So we're going to start off with John here. And um, right off the bat, you can already use the Nintendo costumes with her. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to stick with our normal costume. A thing that I hate is that you have to unlock everything with John. The way, the way this works is that once you unlock a character... You have to start a new file and then pick that character to play as. You can't just change the character on your file. Thank goodness they they fixed that, I believe, in Bayonetta 2. Because this this is really annoying, the fact that you have to unlock everything for John. Like, like I'll, I'll show you right here. By the way, I already, got, uh, already did the first chapter off screen. But like I said, we're going to do the first two chapters with her. Um, but like I said, I'm going to show you right here. I have to unlock, I have to unlock all these again, I have to unlock all these again, granted there are some, I still don't even have enough to get them, items not so much, the only ones you want to really focus on are these last two here, techniques, gotta unlock all these again, but um, I don't even know what the last two techniques are, I forget what they are actually. What's this again? Oh yeah. You gotta unlock all of them. All of them. And all these again. I actually went back and unlocked all the uh, Umbran Essences for Bayonetta. All they do is just change her outfit slightly. Like um, They'll give her little cat ears or a tutu wearing certain items. You can equip all of them too, which is kind of neat. Anyway. John, first two chapters with her, not counting the prologue or the other thing. She, the difference between her and Bayonetta, she can continuously dodge. Like after five dodges, I believe, with Bayonetta, she'll do this giant backflip and then pose. John can continuously dodge without doing the backflip. John does 1.5% extra damage. And she also takes 1.5% extra damage. So technically, she can grind out Halos slightly easier. But, um... Yeah. She she basically still just plays as Bayonetta. The only difference, too, is uh, her Wicked Weaves are white. Uh, you'll, you'll see that in the final chapter, that her uh, Beast Within... I've been calling it Cat Within and Panther Within and all that stuff, but it's actually called Beast Within... ...is white. And, um... I unfortunately don't have that unlocked. You actually get that unlocked, I believe, in Chapter 3 or 4. And so far, I've only played off-screen the prologue and the first chapter. And I wanted to save doing, like, the first two chapters. So I really don't want to replay this game again. Nothing against it. I love this game. This game's amazing. But replaying it with two different characters afterwards, one of which is actually a joke character, which is going to be in the next video, if you haven't guessed. We're going to have two bonus videos. Well, now this too, Jean actually appears in the cutscenes, except for certain ones that require Bayonetta to be in it. Like here, if you remember this, when we're Bayonetta. And actually, I believe it's Jean's voice too. The next character kind of appears in cutscenes too, kind of. Like, I'm going to spoil something in the prologue, you'll see Bayonetta's full, like, um, what do you call there? Outfit and everything, but when she takes it off, she transforms into the character, which is funny. Jean's also rocking those MC Hammer pants. Titles card. This is why I wanted to do the first two chapters with the characters, because um, it only makes sense. And it makes me realize, too, how crazy this game gets. We start off in this luscious city, this strange... And then we get into, like, this strange world, like, outer space and all that. This game gets freaking crazy. <laughs> oh. 
The reason why I picked her normal costume too is because uh, you have to actually beat the game on normal to unlock her other costumes besides the Nintendo ones. If you have the Wii U version, I don't know about the Switch. And um, I didn't want to do her Nintendo costumes. They're just... You don't get to see any differences. There's, it's just John as Link or whatever. Again, it might just still be Bayonetta's voice with John's uh, in there. But anyway, she's exactly, like I said, she's basically just Bayonetta. Just uh, with some extra, extra things. Uh, like I said, I already unlocked the, uh, the shotguns. And I think, uh, do I have that yet? Did I get the sword? No, the sword's in chapter 2, right? So like I said, the first two chapters, but unfortunately I don't have Beast Within. So we're going to be flipping a lot. I'm kidding. Uh, but yep, that's her butterfly thing. Her double jump. And uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy these extra videos of Bayonetta. And I will show you, I've actually gotten slightly better, because I had to have, grinding the hell out of the game to unlock her and the other character. Granted, I would have preferred to unlock her. The original way that you get her is by getting platinum on all normal stages. But, um, you know, I'm glad they just gave her a uh, cheat code that you could use. Costs a million halos. But once you figure out the glitch and everything to use those halos or to get those halos, yeah, you're, you're golden. Whoosh! Open wide. Let's just do that. Do that. Oh, what's on my feet here? It's shotguns. Okay. Um, if you want to know how to grind halos, just look it up. Or I can kind of tell you. You're gonna need the kill gore. The, the basically the bazooka and the claws. And uh, it involves a certain combo. Activating Witch Time with her is a lot harder, too. Yeah, see? There we go. Damn it! Missed me. There we go. There's a Wicked Weave for you. Get that. That's actually the best combo to use for grinding. And to switch weapons in between, because you'll actually shoot off a lot more than you normally do. Depending on uh, if you have the kill gorge yet. Or the D Durangos? Is that what it is? That's what they're called, right? The D Durango? I can't remember if there's something in the water, though. I didn't do this off-screen. I was just getting the use of her. We'll check. We'll check now. We'll check now. Because I can stay underwater for as long as I want. Yeah. Nut. But thank goodness... I think you could just activate Witch Time like this normally with her. So yeah, I was about to say, let's change that camera. There we go. And I just realized what the last two things are for the techniques unlocked. It's uh, Crow Within and the attack that you do at Crow Within. But yeah, that's the one thing I just really don't like. It's that you have to go back and unlock everything with these characters. What up? And they really don't play much different from Bayonetta, really. Like with some altercations, but I'm not really complaining. I'm just nitpicking. Thank goodness she's a lot easier to unlock in Bayonetta 2. All you gotta do is just beat the story on normal. Doesn't matter how many uh, platinums or gold you get. Just beat the story on normal. Or um, you can unlock her by spending like one million halos. Like you can in this. I said we'll see the cutscenes. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs. It's gonna be a little longer video too because we're doing two chapters instead of just one chapter. Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of the town you and I live in. Is close to both. 
but the ingredients you got a special air about I didn't know there was so many other weapons to unlock in this. Like I said, the Akami sword from Okami, the laser sword. Which is kind of fun. It's called the Pillow Talk. It's kind of cool. It basically, it's the same as the other sword. It's just a laser sword. does less damage, but um, I think you can charge it up. Um, you're not missing much in this cutscene. This is just basically telling you you can go to the gates of hell now. And uh, you're not missing much. Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. I think that is actually just Bayonetta's voice. It's starting to sound like her. Your fights are yours alone. We'll figure that out in chapter two because you'll have Jean and Jean talking to each other. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <sighs> I love how cheeky this game is. <laughs> he's laughing. He's having a good time. I apologize for the loud noise out there. Also, all of Jean's weapons are actually called something different. Instead of, like, the pillow talk, it's called something else. Onyx roses are called something else. That's it, really. If you want more of a sight challenge to play through the game again, because, like I said, uh, you have to actually time your dodges a lot better to activate Witch Time with her. Unless you get, uh, what is it called, Selene's Light or something? The item I had whenever I got hit. Alright. Technically, I want to say this is technically the first boss fight of the game coming up. Alright. We got this. Really miss... Really miss Panther Within. I'm sorry, Beast Within. Like I said, that's not until like chapter uh, 3 or 4. Maybe even five that you unlock it. I can't remember. Beautiful. <clears throat> and why I say the first two chapters? Because they technically have the most cutscenes, and they're the, they're the most fun to have, see, like, interactions with everything. Besides the prologue. Alright. Let's rock. Arr. Show me what you got. Here we go. Torture attack right off the bat. Turns out there is a lock on feature, too. I just forgot the button, that's all. I say it's a lot harder to activate which time with her. There we go. And her wicked weaves are white. Instead of the... Damn it! Black. Oh, sh shotguns! Adam. So that's like the best combo to use to, uh... Grind for halos. Damn, I missed time that dodge. This is the only combo I really have right now at the moment. Besides, uh... Damn. There we go. Damn it! Something hit me! Just shoot around for a little bit, just... Just to get a little more stylish. Got him. Oh yeah, there's another item you want to uh, grind halos with. I forget the name of it. It basically makes the angels slightly tougher to kill, but it gives you more points when you do it. Suck on that. Alrighty, buddy. Show me what you got. Oh, if you're wondering, um, 
Jean has a little Jean in her story instead of a little Serezia. She's still called Serezia though, but it's still it's a little Jean instead of a little Bayonetta she chases after. Miss me. All right, come on. Damn, he got me that time. Again, which time is tough for her? And suck on that. There's also a glitch with her. Is that one of her wicked weaves, as you see here, is white. You'll see later on though, it's gonna be black. Which is hilarious to me. Because Bayonetta is the one with the black hair, not the white hair. 50k, huh? Before you ask to, I, I've already said this, I'm not doing the secret Rodan fight. I'm not doing the secret Rodan fight. Damn. My, com my combo was garbage, really? Open wide. Oh, I totally forgot about that heart up there. Aha! I got it! I think her witch time lasts slightly longer, too. I'll take this. Even though these weapons kind of suck. I'll take that up there, too. We'll play with pure platinum, really. What I was going to say is going to say I got the heart. I said that's just one thing I really dislike. You have to unlock everything again. Everything. You spent so many hours as Bayonetta unlocking everything. You just gotta redo it. There we go. Oh, I'm not looking forward to doing this with uh, the next character. <coughs> Well, we'll talk more about the other character next time, but this is cool. <clears throat> Instead of being a uh, old school Bam. Your old school Jean with her little Princess Leia hair. That's right. Forgot, I don't ha Oh, this, this is going to be a pain seeing as I can't uh, do Witch Time. Or I can, it's just I'm not good with her dodging. Because you got to wait for them to get real close to you. And now just uh, getting that gun combo up. It's not doing much, but it's doing something. That poor woman. That poor, poor woman. This next one's going too. I might actually play on easy with the next character. You'll see why. Damn it. Wow! Told you she takes extra damage too. Come on now. Well, that's right. I can't switch weapons. <laughs> You're stuck with the uh, the old uh, weapons in this part because it's a flashback. Really wish I can get that witch time. Oh, this is going to be a long fight. There we go. We can just do this for a little bit. Wait, can, can my fist reach out there? Oh, my Wicked Weave can reach out there. Damn it. Nice. I did not know that could happen. I have no idea how to dodge that.
Really doing this? Just gonna shoot the hell out of you until you're dead? I know what I'm getting on the uh, next chance I get to go to uh, the gates of hell. Got him. It's gonna be a terrible rank, but you know what? <clears throat> I did my best. I did my best. Oh, my head. <laughs> Okay. I promise you, I've actually gotten a lot better at the game since I played through the story again. I've actually learned, but it's just like I said, you have to unlock everything again with all the characters. It's kind of annoying. Isn't there a gate to hell right here? There is. And you know what? I'm going to actually go grab something. I'm going to grab one of my favorite items in the game. Uh, shoot around and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. You here for business or pleasure? Check this out. What are you buying? Oh, Resident Evil 4 reference. See? <laughs> uh, where is it? I believe it's this. Which time will be instantly triggered? Expanding magic. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I... Oh, it's a hundred freaking thousand. I'm upset now. I'm upset now. That was a waste of time. Let's, you know what? You know what? Let, let's see that. Let's see the cake walk away there. Okay. <clears throat> nice uppercut. Um, do I have... Things I can, uh. Oh, yeah, here we go. Just do this real quick. I can't. I can't do any more. Oh, well. Last time I didn't use any items, but seeing as this is a bonus video, we're gonna use them. We're almost done chapter one anyway. It's just, uh. Beat the hell out of this bastard. Look out. Oh god. Gotcha. Oh, I'm, I'm stay. Stop shaking the damn thing. Oh, these combos. Damn it. Alright, jump. Sexy pose. So we're running, we're running. Joke's on us because there's the bad guy again. Let's get the hell out of here. Get up here a little quicker by doing this. Shoot him up. Doing no damage. There we go. This goofy bastard. Ow, I got hit. Alright, buddy. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, you're gonna want that item, too. I think you get it for beating the game. Oh, God, I t totally forgot about this. Thing is, I beat him so quickly with Bayonetta before that uh, he slowly destroys the stage. Here we go. Here's the glitch, I believe. Yeah, see? White? Yeah, see? It's black instead of white. Bag off. Eat him up. Eat him up. There we go. <coughs> Derp. Ah! Yeah! Huh. <sighs> golden. Golden. 
Golden tr Hopefully I get a gold trophy. No, wait. Oh wait, I only use two- Oh no, that counts as a death if I use two items, right? Oh, I use one. Yeah! Bang. I said I already tech completed chapter one. I got a higher score, but I completed it in less time. Eh. Like I said, we're doing two chapters. The first two. Simply, we're gonna skip this. We're gonna skip this. Gonna skip it. Oh, 60,000. Gonna skip it and go right into chapter two. And by the way, here you go. Get to see her little figure move. This is why I wanted to do two chapters. Alright, right into chapter two now. This is the best stage to grind uh, Halos on. If you have uh, the right weapons. Unfortunately, I don't. Because I'm still early in the game with John. Oh, I should have picked a different costume. Oh well. Surprise, it's Bayonetta! No, it's another friggin' Jean. It would have been funny if they put Bayonetta's, um... character model here instead of her. But this is actually funnier, seeing two Jeans looking at each other and talking to each other now. Really, Trish. Sorry, had to say it. Nice dodge. Nice kick. Nice shot. Fancy bumping into you here. Out to find some answers about your past. Look at that. It's the same voice too. You've quite the familiar face. And using the same powers. Because <laughs> I am you. you. Forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> I am you. Same powers. Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. Oh. I've been high and dry for 20 years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. Perhaps you're up for the task. You've already disappointed me. It's not the same voice. It's just Bayonetta's voice over here. I've skipped this cutscene so many times to grind this stage, I totally forget what it looks like. This is a moment I've long desired. But you've forgotten your destiny. And wasted the past 20 years. You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers. The eyes of the world. They are the power behind everything. Alright, here we go, boss fight. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is also where cutscenes where Bayonetta will appear in instead of Jean. I'm just kidding. It's still Jean. That was a hint, too, by the way, of who she was. 
or spoilers to the uh, story if you haven't watched my playthrough yet. Okay, this is why I should have used a different costume. No, wait, I would have been in this costume anyway. All jumping to cancel Witch Walk. Only got these weapons, too. It's gonna be a tough one. Stop moving so I can shoot you. You'll see why this combo that I'm doing is actually the best combo. If I can act. Oh, wait, that's right, I don't have the Witch Time. <laughs> the Witch Time weapon. Oh, this fight's gonna be a pain in the ass with the next character, I just realized. Damn it! Ow. Yeah, Jean is just basically hard mode. Hard mode, and then uh, the next character is basically extra hard mode. Thought I'd get it with the wicked weave. Aha, you missed. Stop reflecting my bullets. Disappear. There we go. <sighs> I promise I have gotten a lot better at the game. It's just the Jean fight. You're not used to just using your guns all the time after beating the game. I really wish you could skip that fight too when you're grinding this damn stage. Because the stage is kind of long. Sean. That's you. You're Sean. Alright. Uh, there's a heart piece right here, I believe. Yep. Broken Witch Heart. Yeah, there are four of them, right? Yep, I only got two. Alright. There we go. Let's uh, slowly but surely make our way over. Another fun little cutscene. Brrr. <laughs> Gear and decorations. Fun fact, you don't even have to, um, what do you call there, fight Rodan to uh, get the last weapon. You can actually unlock the last weapon by cheat code, but it costs 5 million halos. Get him! I said you might not see much witch time with her. Get out of here. Oh, he hit me. What a jerk. Have a bite of this. I hate using the uh, the angels' weapons because to me it feels like uh, they're not good. Nice platinum, yeah. Told you, getting slightly better at the game, and I have been grinding. <laughs> Just uh, seeing if there's anything in these. No. What about you? Nothing. Huh. <clears throat> then does the uh Yeah, what do you call there? Title screen to the game there too. Just says bayonet everywhere. Forget how you'd get that crow. I got it before. Oh, that's right, I got him. Oh, and I don't have Beast Within. <laughs> got it. Let's go, come on, open up. Got it. First try. Like I said, I've been grinding the hell out of this stage, so I <laughs> kind of know it in and out now. Go. 
All right. I hope you get used to this stage because we're going to be seeing this in the next video too, the first two chapters again. Why? So like I said, the first two chapters are the best two to do for the cutscenes. See interactions with this character too, if you recall. <clears throat> Ezio Auditore. It's not Ezio. If you recall, it's Luca. Ah! Turn it on, dude. Him and his amazing man bun. Voiced by the English dub of Sasuke Uchiha, I believe. Sounds like him. Fate, Fate brought us here together, and it will never tear us apart. Oh, Luca. Reference to Dante, by the way, I believe. The rose thing. <laughs> I forgot they said that in the scene. Fuck! Where'd that bugger go? Sayonara. I said, hope you like these uh, cutscenes because you're going to see them again with the next character. Actually, it's John. <laughs> Would you stop that? That little bug on Ed's end is a nice touch. Seeing you here, I suppose it wasn't the only one. You certainly have a you haven't eaten my little shit. I'm not your pet. The name is Luca. A name you better remember. Oh! By the way, if you haven't noticed during gameplay, you might not be able to hear it, but Jean actually has her voice when you play as her. Like, she's actually a lot more vulgar, too. Like, with her taunts and everything. <clears throat> Father! I wonder if it shows Jean here, waking up from the, uh, coffin. Nope, it's Bayonetta. <laughs> Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales, amongst other things. But I know they're real. I know the truth. I can't remember. I don't think he can see them right here, right? No. Smell. The same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Yeah, it's not till he gets uh, Cereza's glasses. I'll let you in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. You need to hone your sense of smell, my dear. There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary is a demon repellent. Here we go! Damn it! I didn't see him coming out. Oh ho! I actually, I actually timed it. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Letting it get to my head now. All right, boys. Already. I was about to say I already killed this dude. I'm gonna take this. 
These weapons aren't that good to use, but I'm using them anyway. You know why? Because I got nothing else. I want to show off more, that's all. Insta-kill, baby. And right now, I have the weakest weapons, sorta, in the game. Get him! Missed me. Sit down. Look at that combo counter, by the way. I kind of like this weapon, though. Combo would be a lot better if I had uh, the ability to get to Witch Time whenever. Which again, I think you need 5 million hails to unlock that or beat the game on uh, like the hardest of difficulties, which I probably will never do. Because I want to say after these two videos, and then again, maybe off screen I won't be done with Bayonetta. But, uh. Phew. See, this is what I mean. This. When they're angry like this, you get actually more points. And there's an item that makes them like that throughout the whole game. I'll take this. Is that it? Nope. Look out! That wasn't it either. Oh, wait, yep. By the way, I thought I'd chill right here, too, after this cutscene. You only run away so fast because you've got <clears throat> something to run from. Me! But you can't escape me forever! She's behind you this whole time. <clears throat> now, in Chapter 2... There are three phones in this area you can use to unlock things in. Damn. It's because of the damage I took. Right here, this phone is used to unlock characters. I believe. This phone down here... Right here... Is used to unlock weapons. And I think this phone here is used to unlock... Accessories. It's not working right now, though. But um, I could be completely wrong, you could use all of them to unlock the same things, but last time I did try to use the same phone twice, it wouldn't let me do that. Just gonna see if there's any health around here before I move on. Stage is almost done anyway. Stage is almost done. I know there's a uh, health upgrade. Angel attack, that's fun. Health upgrade right here. Thank you, I'll gain a little bit of health. I don't know what that's, uh, tears of whatever. So yeah. Extra long video today. Give me this weapon. And now comes the fun part, seeing as I don't have Beast Within, we're gonna be running, or just flipping a lot. This area might have some health. Shoot the shit out of everything. Take that. Okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh. These little bastards. These guys are annoying. Gotta dodge right away. Something I learned in this game. You're gonna have to dodge right away when uh, a cutscene ends. I take extra damage, I gotta be careful! Damn it. Oh, I got him in the air. Okay. Golden. Golden. Alright. I'll take all that. We're about to have a boss fight. A double boss fight. So let me just, uh... 
like I said, I'm not going for any rank here, just having some fun. Uh, where are you? There you are. Thank you. It is a shame that the game punishes you for using items. Basically saying, uh, hey, you're not that good? Well, too bad. Alright. Before we move on, let's break these things. I should probably save these. I could never remember what was in there, and now I figured it out. It's a whole lot of nothing. Flip, 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 flippity, flip, flip, flip. Yeah, see, there you go. She's more <laughs> vulgar. You motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. You motherfucker. There it is. Uh, Alright, let's trigger the thing and then uh, the bosses come. You motherfucker. Not what I wanted, but I will take it. Where are you at? Thank you. Oh, there they are. Look out! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I'm only using the gun to uh, get the combo up more, but I missed too many shots already. And now I gotta fight two of these bastards. Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have the air dodge, you have to unlock that. Look out! I really wish you could skip this little cutscene here. Because you have no idea how much of a pain in the ass it is when you're grinding for halos on this stage. And you gotta see this cutscene over and over. And over again. There we go. Get him. One down. Oh. Nice. Can't believe I actually dodged that. I'm gonna use this weapon to uh, just do some damage so we can get rid of him. You motherfucker. That's just funny to me. Alright, which is it? Y, right? Is it Y? Yeah. There we go. Look at all those halos. Those are all useless. Sweet! New weapon. I think it's a sword. Thank you. Take that. Yeah, I think it's a sword. I think it's a sword, if I recall. Which we can actually get right here. Go visit Rodan. The gates of hell. Right here. So why not, right? We'll just skip the cutscene of him we going in and getting the damn sword. By the way, Bayonetta 2 best weapon in the game, Chain Chomp. It's not really the best, but it's awesome. You can only use it on your feet, I believe. Another LP? Work me to the bone. We're gonna skip that, just so we can uh, save a little time here. Yeah, Angel Slayer! It's actually called something different when you're Bayonetta. 80k. 80k, as I'm here. Well, why not? Why not get something here? We'll get the air dodge. Thank you. Uh, we'll get... Okay, what? Rest and hold A while holding... Oh, I did not know I could do that. It was a spinning punch. I didn't know I could do most of these. I was just using the basic ones now. Oh man, I feel so dumb. 
I feel so dumb. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll get the cheap ones first out of the way here. Granted, I'm not going to be doing another playthrough, but... Just getting these out. Just getting them. Actually, I think you can get one now, because with the sword... Well, maybe it's later. Alright. Skip that! <clears throat> Got the shotguns. A little... Wait a second here. Alright, I might have to change that. Alright, let's uh, equip you for a little bit now. Instead of having the shotguns, we'll have that there. Correction. And have that here. And the handguns here. There we go. Shotguns and sword on the same hands. Or on the same build. Huh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might have worked for me. Look out! Miss me. Let's get this out of the way. Told you. Depending on the weapon, I have actually gotten a lot better at the game. We're almost at the end of the chapter, too, so this will be the end of Jean. Um, no, I am not going to do a complete Jean playthrough. I am not going to do a complete playthrough with the next character, either. Like I said, enjoy it while you can. Yeah, there's a heart up here, by the way. Alright. I think there's like 30 in total. And this increases my magic. All right, we gotta go, what do you call there? Activate this stupid thing. If I had a beast with it, I could actually skip this part. Because a beast within, you can actually jump across this pit without the need of uh, the statues. There we go. First try! I think there's another something around here before we move on to the last part of this stage. By the way, remember how I said this stage is the best stage to grind um, halos if you have um, what do you call there? The missile launch, the Lieutenant Kilgore, I believe? It has to be that and the um, Claw feet thingy. I forget what those are called. I, f I forget what they're called. But if you have those, this little area here is the best area to grind halos. You can make at least half a million to more on this part here. Oh, by the way, this is why I said chapter 2 also. You get to see little Jean, even though she's invisible. <laughs> Look at the little thing. Look at the little one. Strange. I think it's only actually in the final boss fight she's... Looks like Jean. So I guess it is a little Cereza you chase after. Mommy. You. By the way, you, you find out in Bayonetta 2 why she calls Bayonetta Mommy. In case you haven't realized, Bayonetta looks like her mother. That's why she Cereza thinks Bayonetta is her mother. See this area here. It's the best area to grind 
those halos. Wow, this is gonna be a long video. So is the next one. Phew. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if it works here. Without the, uh... Wow! Okay. Without the, uh... What do you call there? Doesn't work as much... Oh, dear. Doesn't work as much with the, uh... Weapons I got here, but... If you use... The weapons I mentioned... And grind here... You will get a lot, and you also have to. If you do it in witch time too, you'll get a lot too, because um. You'll you get like double the points in witch time. And jump. I remember this freaking thing so much because I did it so much. There we go. So I guess it's only the final boss fight she actually turns into a little Jean instead of actually chasing around a little Jean. Funny, they have the uh, model for her, but they didn't change it up. Anyway! I hope you enjoyed this long... long... Bayonetta bonus video. Stay tuned. We got one more character to do it with. The first two chapters, that is. My name is Clinkeroth. This is Angel Attack coming up here. And we're going to cancel out of Angel Attack. So we can see the little map thing. Move the little piece. Fire! Goodbye. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. It's not moving because we're still on the same stage. For watching. Stay tuned for the next Bayonetta bonus video. The last official Bayonetta video on my channel. Thanks for watching.